Hello, hello, it's me, the Metaverse Explorer. I'm back again another day to up you up to keep you updated on Star Atlas. Uh, a little I, I stuffed up just a little bit there, but it's okay. My videos are off the cuff. I talk to you like you are my friend and you are all my friends. Now, in this video, we're gonna be talking about this small video that just got released by the Star Atlas team as well. I'm just gonna pause it for a second, as well as a small surprise that might be coming according to Michael Wagner. Ooh. We've also got some pictures that I want to show you and a community contest that is currently about to start. So I'm just actually gonna pause this video for a second. And first off, I wanna give a shout out to a community member. His name is PG Metaverse OG. Now, this guy has been giving me a really, really tough time with my ship names. Everyone knows I'm terrible with my ship names. Yes, but you guys, I just want to let you know, um, I have a condition which uh, uh, stops me from learning all of the ship names properly and remembering them. It's uh, <clears throat> um, self-diagnosed. Early onset Alzheimer's. So I'm terrible, terrible with remembering all the names, okay? So give me a break, PG Metaverse, my God. Um, but thank you for always watching the videos anyway. Jesus Christ. Now, PG, I noticed you actually had some brand new pictures on your Twitter. So I thought I'd share it with everyone. I hope you don't mind. Um, this is PG Metaverse in his showroom. He has a whole bunch of posters already up on the showroom. And remember, I've done a video on this. You can go into the showroom right now and put some posters in there. Uh, let's have a look at the next one. Some more posters. DOI. Um, I forgot which ship. Uh, uh, that's a Titan ship. I think uh, BOP. Um, I think. Oh no, that's DOI. That's Hosa. I think it is. Um, yeah, I think so. That's DOI. That's the first first one, right? And there's a few others as well. This is him in the uh, showroom. And guys, it it just looks good, doesn't it? I really really hope that they improve these to be 3D instead of 2D because when they actually do swap uh, swivel around it doesn't look as nice as it is 3D. Um, as well as um, have a look at these beauty beautiful ships beautiful ships. This Vita Solo PSX4 the Fimble Air bike and the Uni. Hey look at that PG Metaverse I got all four ships in a row. Oh aren't you proud of me? I'm proud of me for God's sake. I'm proud of me. Um, yeah, look at all these beautiful ships just lined up, ready to go. I forgot how I I haven't actually loaded the Visa Solo in the um, in the showroom. It's a lot bigger than I actually thought. It's a lot bigger than I thought. But hey, that, it's still pretty cool. And of course, look at the Fimble Air Bike, really, really tiny. Now, PG Metaverse, once again, thank you, man. Uh, no hard feelings, man. I'm just uh, I'm just uh, just trying to talk. Anyway, let's go on. The showroom picture of the week goes to Joy Ghost Joypad. Now, he is also doing something else, but before we talk about his little thing, look at this picture. Isn't it cool? Pepe, great time for this. Don't you think this is a, like a really, really cool picture? Like, it's the symmetricalness, the symmetricality of it is exquisite. Exquisite. Well, he, he isn't... He, actually, let's, if you could zoom in just a little bit, you can see he's just not right in the middle. He needs to be a little bit, just a tiny little bit on the left, and then it'd be smack bang in the middle. But this is a great picture. Um, I think it well deserved of the picture of the week. So thank you very much, Ghost Joypad. While we're talking about Ghost Cat Joypad, he is, this is his Twitter. I'm just letting you know there's actually a competition that's uh, being sponsored by... Um, uh, Star Atlas themselves, as well as himself, uh, not by Ledger, but here it is. You can go ahead and win some prizes. First off, let's look at what's actually happening. Now, uh, he hasn't paid me anything for this ride, but he just uh, uh, sent me a message, and I was like, yeah, man, this sounds like a really good initiative. Let's get on it. So, what actually is it? Okay, so it seems like it's a hide-and-seek as well as a race. So let's look at the rules first before you see what you can win. First, we will do three rounds of hide and seek. Me and White Owl will seek the first half of everyone. The other half who are not found all receive one point. Easy enough. After that, next, we'll also be using the PSX4 in a hover or fly mode race. We will do one lap at a time, and the player to get first gets one point. Now, we have seen people practicing, and man, they're down to five, minus five seconds and minus one second even. The first player to get four points wins first place. The next player to get four points wins second place, and so on and so forth. Now, remember, this is something just for us to have fun together, for us to come into the showroom and for us to show off our skills. The first place, the prizes are pretty bloody good. Look at this. You get a PSX5, which is good in itself. You get a Radium DeFi skin for the PSX5, 
as well as a Ledger Stacks device. Now, the Ledger Stacks device is a new Ledger hardware wallet. It's about this, it's about this big, okay? Um, and it, it kind of um, feels like an iPod. Like it's, a, it's made by the guy from Apple, right? Um, and it feels sleek, it feels new, it feels like techy. I love it. I wish I had one, but I don't think I really need one at the moment. Second place, you're gonna get a Fimble Lobby as well as a purple Ledger Nano X. Third place, you'll get a Lobby as well as a Nano Blue, a Ledger Nano. Fourth place, a PSX4, a skin, PSX4, uh, a skin again, and a Sun Tiger skin for PS, uh, uh, for the PSX4. Uh, X4. Guys, this is a great competition. Uh, he, he's just took it upon himself to try and uh, have some fun in the showroom. So go ahead, participate, find him on Twitter, and go ahead and um, see if you can win this. Now, if you win this, go ahead and send me that Ledger Stacks device because I need a Ledger Stacks device because it is sleek AF. Um, speaking of, let's look at this video that uh, I recently teased you just five minutes ago. This is the interior of the Visa's Opod. Okay, the Visa's Opod. It does look sleek. It does look nice. It's a free camera roaming. The pillow. <laughs> the pillow looks like a like a little pastry that's like clipped on all sides of it. Like the, the actual pillow is only in the middle and then the pastry is on the outside. You get what I mean? It looks nice, like right? This is but they seem to only be showing just the bedroom, it seems like. Maybe that's the only thing that's actually complete. Um the uh, Bunthius did say this is like just the stock visa's bed. Um, so we might be seeing this stock bed in the in different visas ships. We can take a look as well as the seating area. So we see the uh, uh, the visas ships, the visas and the um, Opod ships seem to have like this. Uh, oh, sorry, the Ogrika ships as well seem to have like this golden feel to it, right? By the Punavs, the Punavs seem to like a lot of these uh, uh, extravagant, fancy feeling stuff. But yeah, it it doesn't look that bad. Um, I, I, to be honest, uh, it doesn't really get me. It doesn't click. Yes, it looks slightly fancy, but it look doesn't look as fancy as I would as uh, what I would associate with like an Ogrika ship or a Visa's ship. So I don't know what's missing. Uh, that's just my initial superficial reaction, right? Yeah, and you can see there's a double uh, double bed on the other side there. Yeah, so let's take a look at this ship while we're actually here, right? So this is the Visa's Opod. If I remember correctly. This was the first ship to actually go on sale in Star Atlas. Do I remember that right, guys? Is that... I, I, I think that's right, yeah. Um, I remember when it first came up, everyone was buying it. I was like, nah, I'm not going to buy this one. I have my, my eyes set on the other ships. I wasn't really into the data runner uh, ships, uh, uh, data runner ships. I am, I am going to get some, but it does look cool. Look at it. Now, people will still say, I think... I think um, Jesse uh, or Whitticus, Whitticus? No, Jesse. Jesse from the um, uh, um, Rome Guild. I think this is still his favorite ship. I think he does say that this is pound for pound the best performing ships for like for what it has for all the components and modules. It is the best for uh, for your money or for your pound for pound for like the size of it. Uh, for me, I'm okay. I don't really I don't need that specific data runner uh, um, thing. Ah oh, man, look at this. Look at this. I forgot to go. I haven't gone through some of these ship pictures in a very long time. So it's nice to remind yourself of what it is. But remember, these are all, um, these are all, what do you call it? Uh, concept art until it actually gets to the video, which is what we can see, which is them actually making it, right? So, so far it's just pictures until they actually make it. Now, the next topic I wanted to talk about, by the way, before we go, let's see how many people are selling this for. 488. Not bad. That's like about one fifth of what it's actually worth. Uh, sorry, one fifth, one third of what it's actually worth. Um, because the retail price was one point five k. It's now four hundred nearly five hundred dollars. So one third. Ah, that's okay. It's not as bad as some of the other um um uh, discounts on the um marketplace at the moment. Now let's look at Bonk. Now I don't usually cover shitty meme coins, but this has been making a little bit of uh, uh, kind of uh, commotion in Solana and everyone in Star Atlas is on Solana. So I thought I might just cover it just a tiny, tiny little bit and tell you why I don't like it, okay? Um, so um, one, I don't have any, so I'm kind of neutral. 
Two, I don't really want any because it's a meme coin. I know meme coins sometimes do perform well, but sometimes they perform very, well, not sometimes, all the time they go down. It's not Shiba and it's not Doge, okay? They don't have staying power. They're going to come, they're going to go. Now, they, 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 they do have a website, Bonk Coin, but we're actually going to go dive in a little bit deeper, look at the tokenomics, look at what transactions are happening on chain and even how they are uh, and even what they uh, integrate it with. So before that, let's have a look at the one pager and see what they're explaining. Bonk is the first Solana dog coin for the people by the people with 50% of the total supply airdropped to the Solana community. The Bonk contributors were tired of toxic Alameda tokenomics and wanted to make a fun meme coin where everyone gets a fair shot. We aim to bring liquidity to Solana DEXs alongside Open Book's launch in an initiative we like to call Open Bonk. I don't like it already. So it, like, so what are you actually doing? It doesn't, it's not, it's not doing anything, right? Their aim is to bring, it's a, I guess, to attract more users to Solana by making it a fun and a meme coin, right? Which is a fair, which is a fair objective, okay? But the way you're doing it is by getting people into uh, a shitty meme coin that is going to retrace back, right? You're airdropping a whole bunch of it. You airdrop 50% to the entire Solana community, right? Uh, so 20% to the NFT collectors comprising 300k individuals, 15% to early open book traders, 15 to Solana artists and collectors, 5% to Solana developers. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Anyway, that's fine. Let's keep going. Let's look at Dune Analytics. Let's look at some um, actual uh, statistics for the Bonk. Uh, token. So um, um, the um, um, there is a burning feature. I don't know where the current burn is actually coming from. Nearly 200 million, uh, 200 million has actually been, um, what do you call it, uh, burnt. But for me, the of the of the overall volume, this is nothing. Okay, it has like a, a, a fifteen trillion or something. Uh, let's see how many actually they are. They don't sell. What a what a very basic uh, website as well. Where is the total I saw? Was it on here? Oh man, even the white even the white paper is like very small. I'm not I don't, I'm I'm not even confident in covering this because I don't think it's a good idea because people might just see it and go buy it and hopefully that doesn't happen. But anyway, look at the bunk stats. Um, um, Soul scan. They have a um, um, address there. Bonk website, the Bonk white paper, list of integrations, which is slightly interesting. Let's cover that. What I I am very actually, um, ooh, what happened there? It should work. Yeah. I am very skeptical as to how this actually got so big, right? Because the list of integrations is pretty incredible for a crappy meme coin that came out of nowhere. I actually think this is a, a set of sophisticated people, sophisticated developers, or a group of people who know what the hell they're doing in Solana. Because a lot of these integrations have been like the entire history of Solana coming up, right? Let's take a look at some of them. Um, um, so it's on Backpack already, okay? Um, you can trade it on DexLab, that's fine. Dialect, you can create bonk check stickers on Dialect, which is awesome. You can stake your bonk on Dual Finance, sure. Um, I know, I know, I know. Famous Fox Federation, you can buy and sell bunk there, that's fine. But let's let's take away all the things that are buy and sell because that's like super basic. Everyone can really do that. What I what I'm interested in is look you look, you can do part of um, raffles with bunk, um, betting on hedgehogs, uh, which is old school Solana, right? Pay people with bunk, helio pay, send bunk over Twitter, hey wallet, um, bunk a bunk don't name domain name on on Sol. A domain name. Most Solana protocols now do not have any do domain names. All we have is Bomb Feeder, and that's all I really know of. So, like, there's a whole bunch of like bet on NFT horse races with Bonk on Photo Finish. It's a whole bunch of integrations here. Where did it come from? Right? Doesn't make sense. Okay. Let's look at the live feed on BirdEye and see what people are actually buying and selling. Now let's refresh this. You can see the price has not actually been performing very well. It did perform well, and that's when everyone sold, the people who actually did make a whole bunch of uh, uh, money. There is a giant wick here. See, it kept going up and up and up, and then a giant wick 
uh, someone might have sold, I think someone in AFIA said they sold 170K, not in AFIA, but they know of the wallet that, sent, that sold 170K worth. And after that, people over here were like, oh, maybe it might go up again. But then no, everyone else starts taking their own profit and then the price tumbles all the way down. Okay, recovers a little bit, uh, 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 recovers, goes down, recovers, go down. And now it seems to be in like this small little wedge here, this little wedge. So uh, um, it, for me, if I was to put money on it, I'd say it'd be going down because at the moment, everyone's wised up to, to meme coins. Okay, I don't really think anyone is going to be holding onto this long term at all, especially if they're going to be airdropping more to serum, um, uh, open book users. Okay, now you can, I, I, I do love bird's eye though. Look at this. You can see all the uh, active trades that are happening right then on the chain. Someone swapped 37 soul for 201 million bonk. Okay, why? 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 I don't get it. Why are you buying it? Anyway, let's move on. Now, <sighs> in regards to bonk, Someone did say, oh, maybe we should do like a drop uh, for Star Atlas. Uh, for myself, I actually thought this was like, I don't want it. It is a missed opportunity for the bonk people who, who should have dropped to Star Atlas holders because they said they dropped to NFT communities. We are a giant NFT game community on Solana, probably the biggest gaming community on Solana, right? We have a whole bunch of people still active in Star Atlas. They should have dropped something to, to us, but of course they didn't, which is, which is fine, right? Fine, because you'd be watching this video and I'd be telling you sell the hell out of it right now. Um, Michael Wagner as well feels the same way. He said, except this, we really don't want to get SA involved with Bonk. Why do you think he's saying that? Okay, I don't think there's anything good going to, that's going to come out from Bonk. Okay, so if you did get some, check your wallet. Is it there? Just sell it. It's free money for you right now. It's not going to go anywhere, anywhere in the next year. Would you rather have something in Star Alice or would you have something in Bonk? Mm. It's, it's fine if you're just playing around with it, right? But as long as you realize that, you'll realize that you're just playing around, okay? Anything you buy in Bonk is gone. It's play money. It's just like dirt. It's not worth anything, okay? At some point, someone's going to create a liquidity, liquidity pool where someone has paired it with USDC and you can extract that value, okay? Now... I want to leave you with a little surprise that Michael Wagner was saying. And then this is the second last thing. We've got one more thing. Um, so uh, Steve Woody is a new community uh, uh, member over in the Discord. And he just he's recently tried out uh, No Man's Sky in VR. He was very, very surprised. I've played No Man's Sky before, but not in VR. But I also have a VR headset and I'm very excited for this. Now, what did Michael Wagner reply to this? So Steve said he's, he's super excited to be able to mine your uh, planet in UE5 and, and get an NFT resource. And Michael's like, oh boy, do we have a surprise for you soon-ish? Get the legal docs prepared. What does this mean? So someone's talking about No Man's Sky and someone's talking about VR and mining NFTs. So, and Michael's like, okay, there's a surprise coming for you. So it's got to do with either No Man's Sky or it's got to do with VR, okay? Which one could it be? It's possible that on January 5th, Michael Wagner tweeted, V R. What does that mean? I don't know what it means. Unless, unless, unless he's talking about a VR headset, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. I'm hoping, Michael, that you actually do mean we are close to VR integration. If that is true, that'd be pretty cool. If it's not true, that's misleading, okay? I tend to think that we are going to get onto VR this year. Uh, uh, it's nice that you have a surprise for us. We really appreciate it. Um, I know uh, something like this probably has to be in the works for a long time until it actually does get um, um, kind of developed and even for an uh, alpha public release. So this seems like he's insinuating there is a VR component coming. And we've known for a long time, the vision of Star Atlas has been to be able to go into VR and experience your own ship and walk around and you get that attachment to it, right? You go and order a ship and you walk around and you sit in the uh, a cockpit and you drive the ship yourself. You, you uh, ride the ship yourself. You sail the ship yourself. You know what I mean. So yeah, Michael seems to be saying there's VR coming. 
super exciting, right? Yeah, let's let's I'm going to keep you definitely on board. And guys, I am super ready to make some content on VR. I just recently got so this is the Oculus Quest 2, just a small introduction. I recently got for Christmas someone to buy me this uh, extension, you see, and it's got actually a magnetic battery, a ma magnetic battery. You turn on. And then it kind of turns on. Oh, you can't hear it. Yeah, so it just kind of clips on there and it's heavy, dies down. Pretty cool. And then it's got a, like a little thing at the back. Yeah, I love it. It's great. Very comfortable. Uh, uh, sits very, very well. Yeah, so guys, I'm, I'm ready to make Star Atlas VR content. VR Star Atlas content. I'm very ready, as you can see. Let's wait for it to come out. Now, lastly, before we go, I do want to give you a small snip, uh, snippet of um, a new picture that I saw um, that was in the um, uh, Discord. And I hadn't seen it before, so I went a little bit of investigation and saw Soren Meeting. He seems to have created a lot of the Star Atlas concept art that we've currently seen. Uh, for example, the Solar Punk series, which is the Star Atlas farming kind of um, um, carry farms thing. Um, he, he's also the one that created the uh, concept art for the uh, MUD Central Space Station. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and load this so we can see some. He also did the ARF, the Atmos Atmospheric Reclamation Unit. But let's go ahead and see the, this one. You can see here, he's made the light version, the day version, as well as the night version. It was kind of like a render version of this. And it seems like that is the actual render of it. That seems like it's in UE5 somehow. Light test, adding details, decals, and rocks, uh, coloring test, uh, a diff light, different light setup for, for dark, and you can see all of these different um, variations of it. And it looks cool. It looks cool. He seems to have created some other um, um, kind of uh, concept arts that I hadn't seen before, and one of them was this one. One of them was this one. I hadn't seen this before. Looks pretty cool. I hadn't seen this, and I think I think it looks like a mining facility, if I'm not wrong. Um, and this one as well, I hadn't seen. He has made some Anno, which is a game as well, uh, command like a kind of conquering game. Um, and also two more. We're gonna have a look, quick, look, quick, quick, quick look. Just this little sneak peek. I don't know what ships these are, but you can see they are actually labeled Star Atlas. I don't know what ships these are, but uh, we're yet to find out. And this seems to be a uh, missile, bastion, and fortress defense. Nice. Little uh, um, laser turrets. Cool. Looks good. And the last one is the atmospheric uh, re um, reclamation, however, however you say it, the ARF module. Nice. And it, this is his uh, um, kind of interpretation of it. Okay, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Metaverse with Flora. I'm going to leave it here with the video. If you saw Pepe once or twice, if you could see him every time, leave a like and subscribe. I did hit 8,700 people, but someone unsubscribed, and I'm down below that as well. Maybe you don't like my content. That's okay. If you don't like my content, let me know in the comment section below so I can improve. I'm very big on self-improvement. And PG Metaverse, I love you, man. Thank you very much for always keeping me in check, making sure I remember the ship names. I remember, I have a condition, self-diagnosed condition that allows me to uh, not remember the names. Ah, okay, ciao.